Every spring on the Red Planet, the familiar 1,200-mile-wide cloud appears on the volcano Arcea Muns. Astronomers wonder if it's an eruption. With the ESA Mars Express probe, they revealed the secret some time ago. This oversized cloud always forms at the same time within a Martian year, which lasts altogether 687 days on Earth. The cloud forms within about three hours in the morning and then disappears completely after a few hours. This occurs every morning for about 80 days. And then this phenomenon is over, not to reappear until the following Martian spring. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for many more exciting videos in the future. Mars and the Mysterious Mega Clouds A 21st century treasure, amateur astronomers discovered a novel and striking phenomenon of the solar system on Mars. The planet most explored after the Earth, and four years on, there is still no certain explanation for it. These are the bright and gigantic clouds over the edge of the planet, which were photographed and filmed in the period from March 12th to April 17th of 2012, reaching a height of 174 miles. Three years after this phenomenon, which was not observed again, the planetary scientists and amateurs involved stated in the well-known journal Nature that no large dust cloud or very high ice cloud with bright auroral emission, the three proposed explanations, could be squared with current knowledge about the planet Mars. Clouds of these heights are simply impossible because the structure of the atmosphere on Mars, at least not with this brightness. This is also true for a comparable observation of the Hubble Space Telescope from 1997. Now this mystery has been taken up again in the context of the measurements from the Express on location. The Mars orbiter did not come close to the mysterious clouds or fly through them but it was able to document the position of the solar wind and the plasma on the planet during these images. In each case, above the terminator line, located opposite the clouds, which would typically dissolve clouds. The accounts of the Mars Express provide no clear mechanism of origin for the giant clouds, but they give a new direction to the speculations in any case. On the one hand, the clouds formed over a region with a very strong residual magnetic field from a former time. Also, the cloud's occurrence fits the arrival of large ejections by the sun's corona, which surprisingly was also the case in the Hubble sighting in 1997. The largest disturbance affected Mars on March 9, 2012, three days before the first signs of the giant cloud. How this could have been produced by an interplanetary phenomenon was unclear until 2016. However, they call for intensive monitoring during these periods. The Real Mystery About the Mysterious Giant Cloud About every 687 days on Earth, stargazers of the megavolcano can observe the phenomenon that has been giving them headaches for years. When spring arrives on the planet Mars, an elongated cloud of water ice about 1,200 miles long forms over Arcea Muns in about three hours. After a few hours, it dissolves into thin air. Approximately 24 hours later, this mysterious spectacle takes place again and repeats itself approximately 80 times, only to disappear for 687 days and then start again from the beginning. The ESA spacecraft Mars Express has now deciphered the truth behind this cloud, which science has named AMIC, or Arcea Mun's Elongated Cloud. Using a very high-resolution camera on board the probe, which has been orbiting Mars for about 17 years, the Space Agency's astronomers were able to clarify in great detail how and why the clouds form. With the help of the visual monitoring camera on board ESA's Mars Express spacecraft, astronomers have recently taken a closer look at this recurring phenomenon. The sequences in the video 
show a defined daily cycle. The results, which researchers published in the Journal of Geophysical Research, show that the very large Martian cloud is in the end much less mysterious than it previously seemed. In fact, it's an orographic phenomenon. These occur when wetted air masses accumulate around large elevations in terrain, such as a volcano or a mountain range, and are pushed upward by the direction of the wind's flow. This type of natural performance can also be seen by Earth's meteorologists, but not on such a grand scale, explains Sanchez La Vega of the University in Basque Country. The large accumulation of water droplets is not a sign of active volcanism on the planet Mars, but a normal phenomenon of mountain weather. According to the observations of the probe, the cloud forms on the western slope of Arcea Mons at an altitude of about 27 miles, as soon as the wet air is directed upward by expulsion and condenses at colder altitudes. About two hours later, this cloud expands further west at about 375 miles per hour. Now, when the huge cloud has reached a length of about 1,200 miles, the winds drive it further west before it evaporates later in the morning and thus dissipates. This happens as the temperatures on Mars rise, because that's also when the sun rises. Scientists assume that the climate on Mars is particularly similar to that on Earth even if the two planets otherwise show considerable differences. In general, the camera on the deck of the Mars Express should show the researchers that the probe Beagle 2 has separated upward. Thus, the cloud begins to grow before sunrise on the western slope of the 12-mile-high Arcea Mons, before it extends to the west for two hours. It forms at an altitude of 27 miles and grows at 375 miles per hour, which is very fast. Then it stops expanding, detaches from its origin, and is carried westward by the winds. It is now the largest cloud ever observed on Mars, which means that it forms as a result of winds pushed further up by topographic features on the planet's surface. In this case, Arcea Mons disturbs the Martian air envelope causing the cloud to form. Moist air is pushed up the flanks in the volcano's updrafts and then later condenses at colder altitudes. The repeated appearance of one of these giant clouds has particularly intrigued scientists since the 1970s. Today, they believe they have uncovered the mystery of the well-known phenomenon. The elongated Amek is a huge cloud extending almost 1,200 miles. It was first detected by a Russian probe in the 1970s and occurs every year at the time of the solstice on the Red Planet. This phenomenon simultaneously generates winds of up to 375 miles per hour. Some scientists believed it was the result of a volcanic eruption. However, this was only a guess. The Significance of Daybreak for the Giant Cloud Strangely, amateur astronomers discovered a similar phenomenon in 2012. At the day-night boundary on Mars, they observed a strong bulge in the atmosphere. This particularly diffuse and bright structure rose up to a height of more than 150 miles and thus reached into the exosphere and the ionosphere. Here the characteristics of the cloud changed very quickly. From bubble-like double bulges, to columns. At the same time, this structure extended almost 600 miles in all directions. Characteristically, the giant clouds appeared when morning broke over the region of Terra Samaria. For 11 days in a row, this inscrutable structure arched over the southern highlands, then disappeared without a trace. A month later, however, the astronomers discovered another giant cloud in the same area. This one also remained for about 10 days and then dissipated. Since then, there has been no trace of this strange phenomenon. Thus, however, the giant clouds do not fit any of the atmospheric phenomena known on Mars. They could be dust clouds or clouds of frozen water or carbon dioxide. But for such ice crystals to form at such a height, 
abnormally cold temperatures must prevail, meaning drops in temperature of more than 50 Kelvin, researchers report. For carbon dioxide crystals, a temperature drop of 100 Kelvin is needed. But this cannot be explained with existing models of the Mars atmosphere. If it is dust clouds, on the other hand, very large updrafts would have to have flung it up to that height. However, such winds are more likely to occur at midday, and not in the early morning, when the sun has not yet warmed the ground. Dust clouds are therefore rather unlikely, according to the researchers. Auroras also do not fit the phenomenon. To trigger such long-lasting, large and high auroras, an exceptionally high influx of energetic, charged particles would be needed, and this over several days. And this gigantic cloud is generally 1,000 times brighter than conventional auroras on the planet Mars. There was no strong solar storm to cause such conditions in 2012, researchers have explained. Thanks for watching. How'd you like the video? Feel free to let us know in the comments below.